Grade 7, welcome to Thursday. And our learning today is about close reading, but before I tell you about that, I'd just like to remind you of the work that you're doing on Monday and Tuesday and help you to understand how what we're doing today links into that. You remember back on Monday that we were looking at this ladder of abstraction, and really the work was about taking really key details from the text and then seeing how we might think big to connect them with bigger ideas that might be running across the text. Exact quotes, specific details, images, names of places, etc. And looking to see how they connected to big ideas across the text. Then on Tuesday, we kind of expanded that work a little further by uh, making sure that you were able to um, really explain your thinking in detail. Because often when we do the work the first time, we don't explain really what we meant. And going back, as I found when I wrote in more detail about what was going on with the symbol of the monkey, I'm able to really clarify my thinking and make it much clearer to a reader. So the next step, from beginning with exact details and going to big picture, to trying to tease out the, the uh, details of our thinking more and more and more, the next step is to step right back and look at the big picture of the story. To look at story elements like setting, characters and plot and see how we might run across those, connect those and use those to help us to think about the way the details that we've noticed might uh, connect and interlink and give us further ways of thinking about the book. Here's one good way of doing this work, one good metaphor to represent this work in our heads. Imagine yourself watching a football game and if like me you're not terribly skilled at football, what you do when you're watching a football game is you follow the ball. So as the game is progressing, let's say you're watching it on the television, as the game's progressing you're kind of watching the ball to see where it's going and you're waiting to see whether it gets kicked into the goal. And what I do when I'm watching a football game is it's really it's just watching the the ball from one player to the next to the next and into the goal and back to the centre and on it goes. I'm not a very skilled watcher of football. But something I've noticed is that when you listen to the commentator, they watch the ball that they watch the football game, sorry, in a completely different way. They'll sometimes talk about things like the weather, for example, and they'll talk about the way the particularly wet conditions are changing the kind of play that's happening. And that helps them to think about why the ball is going from one place to another in a particular way. Or they'll use some knowledge they have of the two coaches and they'll comment on the way one coach is, is more likely to be particular, particularly aggressive at a particular point and bring in one kind of play or another. Or they'll use some knowledge they have of things that might have been happening to the players during the previous week. Maybe there's been some scandal of uh, drug use by players or something like that that's caused um, the players to be a little bit uh, on edge or concerned about their teammates, they'll, they'll basically bring in all kinds of different things that they understand about the, uh, the game and the context of the game to help them to understand a lot more than just how the ball's moving from one place to the next. They understand why and they're able to connect different elements of the game to give them a much more detailed understanding of what's happening. Well, that's the work that I want you to do today. And I'm going to name three particular pieces, setting, characters and plot, which I think are going to help you as you do this work. And I'm going to try this out a little bit, thinking about our mentor text, uh, thinking about the stolen party, and thinking about what's happening with Rosara early on. And just to reiterate, the teaching point here is that readers notice many elements of a story and think about how different elements of a story connect to influence each other. They often use writing as a way to do this thinking. So I'm not going to do the writing today, I'm going to do that in my head and then I'm going to get you to do the same thing. I'm going to get you to write in your head as you try out the same thing here on the carpet and then that'll be one more thing for you to work on as you're reading and writing and writing and reading and gathering all those notes so that when I get back we're ready to start ripping into getting our, um, getting our commentary books written. All right, so I've been thinking about Rosara and the thing that I'm going to work on is I'm interested in the way Rosara and her mother, 
I've written a few possibilities here for you. I'm interested in the way Rosara and her mother respond to the party because I feel like I've been thinking about Rosara a bit. But maybe it's time to think about her mother and that might give me a new angle and new depth looking at two different characters and the way two different characters respond to the same plot might give me a new angle and a new depth. Here's the part of the story that I want to focus in on deeply. Because one thing we always do is go back to the detail of the text to support our thinking. Let me read to you this part. The mother swung around to take a good look at her child and pompously put her hands on her hips. Monkeys at a birthday, she said. Get away with you, believing any nonsense you're told. Rosara was deeply offended. She thought it unfair of her mother to accuse other people of being liars simply because they were rich. Rosara too wanted to be rich, of course. If one day she managed to live in a beautiful palace, would her mother stop loving her? So I'm thinking, what's the mother's perspective on all of this? I'm thinking a piece of writing I need to do is to think about the mother's relationship to the monkey. You know, I was fascinated uh, in my writing on Tuesday at how the monkey seemed to represent possibilities for Rosara. What can I write about the mother and the monkey? The mother doesn't believe the monkey would be at the birthday party. So that's making me think that I can use this quote here. Mother's, uh, monkey's at a birthday, she said. Get away with you, believing any nonsense you're told. There's something really interesting going on here because I think Rosara's mother thinks that the possibility of becoming rich is a nonsense as well. And if the monkey is, as I'm thinking, some kind of metaphor for magical change and the possibility of change, then I think Ma uh, Rosara's mother doesn't believe in that. She believes that you're stuck in the role that you're, that you're given. So this is the writing that I need to do. What I'd like you to do right now is to take a moment. You might need to have your notebook open and a pen in your hand to just sort of jot to think for a moment too. Take a moment. What is a different character that you need to explore to understand a character that you've been focused on so far? A different character to see a different perspective. Is there a different setting that you should focus on or focus on the way your character changes from setting to setting? Is there something in the book, in your book, that in setting character or plot, looking between them, looking across them, that you can dig into more deeply to help you to think and understand. Take a moment to do some jotting, then your teacher is going to ask you to share with your partner for a moment, and then, I'm, uh, then she's going to ask you to head off and do your own thinking and writing today. Work really hard. I'll expect when I'm back uh, next Monday to see you next Monday that after these three classes you're going to have a lot of pages of notes. Some of you will have up to 10 pages of notes from this week of working really hard, drawing ideas, exploring. You can find all of this thinking, of course, here on our class website, and I'll embed the video for you as well.